Okay, what's up guys? I am so excited today to come to you with episode five, Cooking with Kara. And we are not cooking today. We are doing a research review because I asked on my Instagram story what you want to see. And everyone said, research review. So, research review number two. It is the coolest topic ever. A time efficient reduction of fat mass in four days. Four days with exercise and caloric restriction. This publication is from the Scandinavian, Scandinavian Journal of Medicine and Science and Sports. It was conducted in 2014 and it comes from Spain. So, so cool. I'm just like so excited. I can't even get started. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So it's holiday time. Everyone wants this quick weight loss. If you know me, I say anything too good to be true is, um, never promoting quick weight loss but this is scientific based evidence for four days let's get started so the researchers wanted to know if these subjects could produce significant weight loss in four days through diet and exercise so we know that diet alone you can get significant weight loss by just reducing your intake but we also know that reducing your intake and exercising produces even more fat loss so the authors of this investigation took 15 overweight men and women and had them reduce their calories to 3.2 calories per kilogram per day for four days. So if you know anything about calories, most adults are recommended to eat like 25 to 30 calories per kilogram per day. Can I use your calculator real quick? So just me, I weigh like 125 pounds. So 125 pounds divided by 2.2 kilos is 56 times 25. So that means my calories at baseline are probably like 1,420, which is pretty low on petite female. So now if I'm gonna do that, what they did in this study, multiplying it by just three calories per kilogram per day, 3.2. That means I would only be eating. Oh, am I looking the wrong way for this? Guy? I might be. I would only be eating 181 calories per day for four days. But that's not it. They weren't just significantly reducing their intake. They were also instructed to do 45 minutes of hand wheel. And after 45 minutes of that, they had to do eight hours of walking where does it say that eight hours of walking at 4.5 kilo kilometers an hour for a total of 35 kilometers a day so these people had to exercise nine hours a day on basically no calories what's interesting is that so there's 15 people, half of them got a drink containing sucrose, so basically sugar water and electrolytes. And the other half of the group got a drink containing whey protein at 0 0.8 grams per kilo, which is the recommended di dietary allowment. So one group's drinking sugar water, the other group's drinking whey protein. So the authors hypothesized that everyone's gonna lose weight, right? They're gonna lose weight because they're doing a ton of exercise and they're barely eating. But they also thought that, I just can't get over this lighting. <laughs> they also thought that um, the people who ate the whey protein are going to sustain much more muscle mass and not lose as much muscle mass during this investigation. Continuing on. Results. Following the four days of caloric restriction in combination with exercise, total body mass in both groups was reduced by an average of 4.9 kilograms. 4.9 kilograms? That's over 10 pounds in four days. Sounds great, right? But remember, our bodies aren't just reflection of our weight and what the scale says. We have fluid, we have muscle mass, we have fat tissue, bones. So it's amazing that they lost 10 pounds, but what do they really lose? 
whole body fat mass was reduced by, oh, my thing froze, 2.1 kilograms. And this actually was sustained for a whole year. So even though this was a four day investigation, when they followed them up after a year, um, they basically were still down like a few kilos. So, but I'll get to that. So that was fat mass. Lean mass was also reduced by about 2.8 pounds, 2.8 kilos, so over five pounds. So in total, they lost like 10 pounds, but a little bit of that was fat, a little bit of this is muscle. They lost 3.1 liters of fluid. Okay, we're gonna get more in depth with the results in a little. So they lost. What's interesting is that their cortisol also raised, so their stress hormone, and their leptin concentration was significantly lower after the four days by 64%. So think about leptin is your satiety hormone. Think about Thanksgiving. The reason why you're so full the next day, maybe the next two days, is because your leptin, so your satiety hormone, is very high, and it basically tells your body, like our adipose tissue, our fat stores are good, we don't need any more calories, we're good. So when these people did a ton of exercise, we're not eating, their leptin, decrease telling the body we're starving bring us more food so we know that these people are hungry <sighs> discussion the present investigation reveals that whole body fat mass can be reduced by approximately three kilograms in just a four-day intervention by combining a significant reduction in energy intake and approximately nine hours a day of low intensity intensity exercise but what's interesting is that even after a year, they still were down from their baseline before the four-day investigation. And this study is actually shows even better results than some diets studies that have been up to like 12 weeks long following subjects on like a traditional low calorie diet with exercise. And people love instant gratification. So if you're somebody that needs a jump start, the literature is here. What they also saw was improvements in plasma levels of cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, so your good cholesterol, insulin sensitivity, resting systolic and diastolic blood pressure. And we know this because other studies have also shown this, that just reducing your body mass by 5% can lead to those improvements like that. Let's see what else. Um, da, 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 da. What was interesting though, which didn't really meet the hypothesis of the study, was that the group who had the protein didn't keep more muscle than the group who had the sugar water. You think higher protein intakes, you're gonna keep more muscle. They both lost the same amount of muscle, whether you had the whey protein, even at 0 0.8 grams per kilo, which is the recommended daily amount, versus the group who was just drinking sugar water, no protein intake for four days. And they think it's because under such a severe energy deficit, whey protein has no detectable sparing effect of lean muscle. So the group who received the whey protein, what they thought is that the, the proteins went through like a denaturing, which means like it loses, the protein loses the nitrogen group and it's recycled by gluconeogenesis into carbohydrates, which the carbohydrates were then fueling the exercise. So the proteins were basically um, catabolized under this stressful situation or like they went through like ketogenesis and were turned into ketones to maintain hepatic gluconeogenesis what i basically said even though they were taking in proteins they went right to be you know recycled as carbohydrates to fuel their exercise so they weren't actually used as muscle proteins to i mean proteins to spare the muscle tissue limitations to the study one you have to be so motivated like i don't know anyone who i wouldn't even do this is gonna go walk 24 miles a day eating nothing basically um so <laughs> like you have to be insanely motivated secondly muscle and joint pain that much stress on the body in that little bit of time like i can't even imagine like how these people are feeling you think about marathon runners who will do like 
crazy marathons like day after day after day or like these ultra marathons but think about how much food they're ingesting like gels 90 90 carb 90 grams of carbohydrate an hour every hour like these people had nothing just water electrolytes and either whey water or sugar water um That's everything I highlighted. Um, so in conclusion, a clinically relevant reduction in fat mass can be achieved in over met, overweight men and women in just four days with severe caloric restriction and extreme exercise output. And it didn't matter if they had the whey protein or the sugar water, fat mass loss was the same, the lean mass was the same, the water water mass, the water weight loss was the same. But what's super cool is even when they followed up with these people in a year, they all were still down about two kilos. So if you think you just need something quick, the take home message in this is don't be crazy, don't be a psychopath, but reducing your intake and moving more, right? So. Getting out, going around walks in your neighborhood, those little steps every day are gonna add up. You know, maybe just parking at the end of the parking lot isn't enough, but maybe do a few mile walk a day, three miles a day, four miles a day. Over time, it's gonna add up. So people sometimes get intimidated by high intensity interval training, sprinting, like that's just too much for them. But you can start with walking and slowly reducing your calories. Because we all know, I'll say it a million times, move more, eat less is all you need to do to lose weight. That is all. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment below. And we will see you in the next one.